As we continue our expose relative to the appearance of man in the fossil record, we now come to one of the most famous and most influential of all the ape men ever discovered. It was discovered as Eoanthropus dawsoni in 1912 near Piltdown, East Sussex, England. The discovery was made in a pit in a burial area and for the next four decades this would be the most influential fossil that would anchor evolutionary theory. In fact, it's been reported that over 500 PhDs were granted from dissertations that centered in Piltdown Man and on its discovery and on the evidence, even though very few scholars ever saw the actual fossil. Now, the profile of Piltdown Man shows not only totally human profile, it, including the musculature necessary for normal upward walk and gait. But what was actually discovered? Skull fragments that were human and were quite archaic. Charles Dawson made this discovery and uh, uh, the skull, skull cap at least, was archaic human. The same color was a jaw that was distinctively ape-like with two teeth. That was in 1912. This anchored evolutionary theory. Man had descended from an ape-like creature. Until 1953, when additional scholars were permitted to examine the actual fossils and when our microscopes had been developed to the point where it was determined that the skull was archaic but fully human. But it was then determined that the jawbone had actually been an ape's jawbone stained to the same color to make it appear antique. And the teeth had been filed down in very short order. It was recognized that Piltdown Man was a hoax, a forgery, but it had already anchored evolutionary theory. We, in approaching the truth of man's appearance in the fossil record, have to dismiss him, and even the evolutionists have now published New Scientist and other major publications that this fooled the greatest minds in paleoanthropology until 1953 when the remains were revealed as planted, altered, a forgery. This is from the technical evolutionary literature. So Piltdown Man is removed from our pedigree. So is Homo habilis. So is Nebraska Man. So are all the others leading to the descent of man in the evolutionary profile. So what we now turn to is the actual evidence of archaic man appearing in the fossil record. Was he fully human or was he a part of evolutionary development? Stay tuned to these episodes from the Creation Evidence Museum.